How you doing? It's Professor Farrell over at Farrell Academy. I'm going to show you guys um, a step over choke from side control that my students love to do um, that I used to do a lot as uh, a purple belt and then I forgot to how I did it until black belt again. Um, it's just something I just didn't continue doing. Now it's one of my favorites, okay? So let's get set up in side control. Now, for here, when I like to do, what I like to do here is I put my thumb like behind his neck, okay? A little bit maybe even to the left of his neck just so I could get a good grip with my, my thumb, okay? So when people go for this choke, what they don't do is they don't turn their thumb in and their, their forearm in, like right this, okay? That's gonna create a, a lot of pain and that's gonna kill the artery, okay? So you have to do that. now. I want to start doing this, and we could do it from two ways. We're going to do it from the side control, then we're going to do it from uh, the knee on belly way. Okay? So what she's going to do, she's going to get on her hip, okay, at this point. Now, now her, her form's really going to start turning. So now what she's going to do, she's going to throw her left leg over, right under like his chin, and her knee's going to come on top of the shoulder. Okay, now she's basically just going to squeeze her knees together as she rotates for a quick choke, okay? So let's do it again. So she's grabbing it thin, she's not, she's not grabbing all the way, she's not grabbing too deep, okay? She's just grabbing like kind of right behind the head and it's a good cross face too, okay? Uh, the right hand could be controlling the hips or the right hand could be uh, on this side of the hips too. It, it just, it doesn't matter. When she's ready to attack is when she's gonna attack, okay? So now, now she's gonna go knee on belly. Okay, she's gonna pop up, go knee on belly, she's gonna create something. She wants to get this arm out of the way, so this is even a nastier version of it. She's gonna slice her knee and shin on his hand. Okay, so now his, his arm is pinned. Now she's gonna, she's gonna do the same thing she did, squeeze the knees together for a quick tap. Okay, so we'll do it again. Like I said, so a lot of times when you do this, you know, the people aren't turning the wrist enough, that's gonna uh, not, not be a strong choke with it. And they lay, leave too much space. At the same time, you just gotta watch where his right arm is. And that's why I like the knee on belly version because the, it's easier for him not to be able to block the choke with his, like you could uh, keep your elbow in, you could come up and extend, block the arm. Um, just, you know, you wanna control this part of the arm too. So this is why I like, we're gonna do one more on the knee on belly. She's gonna come up for the knee on belly. He's gonna react by just whatever. He's probably gonna, yep. Slice, step over. And when she goes, she's curling the knee down as she's squeezing to the knees. She wants to be like under the chin, okay? So one more from here. She comes up in the knee on belly. She slices her knee. Now she's underneath the chin, okay? Now she starts rotating, yes. What she could do too, Throw the leg over. When she goes for it, come down, start turning your head in, yes. So see how she's turning her head into the, uh, his thigh? That's just gonna create more pressure. Okay, so we'll do one at a faster pace, just from side control or knee on belly. All right, so that's uh, one of my favorite chokes. Uh, it, it comes in quick. Um, and it, it's really not hard to set up. You just, you just gotta get used to the grip with it. Thanks for watching guys. Like, comment, and subscribe on my YouTube and we'll be back next week for some more videos. Oh.